all right so we are back with another land graph video and in this video what i wanted to talk about is how you can bring memory along with human feedback in the agents so we will use two concepts which is like uh, checkpoints and breakpoints and we will see how using these two concepts how we can bring uh, not only the human intervention and also how we can uh, persist the state of uh, different nodes and how we can bring the memory while running the lang graph using the agent concept right so this breakpoints will enable us to bring the human in the loop uh, with certain commands and we can like add few commands which will uh, stop the execution of the flow and then it will then you can decide whether you want to bring the human in the loop and what would be the further actions beyond that point right and uh, in this way the breakpoint also uses the concept of checkpoints so which will like save the graphs state after each node execution right so this so these checkpoints are saved in threads uh, that preserve the graph state and can be accessed after a graph has finished execution right now the benefits of using this uh, two combination like the breakpoints along with checkpoints are like you can you can stop the graph execution at any specific point uh, then you can like await for the human approval then you can resume the execution from the last checkpoint so for few of the installations uh, then what we are doing is we will start with a very basic example there we will see how the breakpoint and the checkpoint works and then we will slowly talk about how you can incorporate a tool call with a checkpoint or a breakpoint right so first of all we are creating the state so then we are creating three simple functions the function 1 2 and 3 which will just uh, it will return the messages uh, from each of this function this is just for the illustration purpose then we will create the graph where at first we will create the nodes then we will create the edges and also we will uh, mention what is the start point and what is the end point right so then we will bring the memory so we are using the in memory store which is uh, this one the memory saver so that we will create and that we will uh, pass while compiling the graph Uh, using this command graph dot compile right so you can see like we are mentioning the checkpoint are equals to memory and we are also mentioning that uh, interrupt before step three so this step three is nothing but a name of a particular node and uh, before executing that node it will stop the execution of the graph and then it will like wait for the further steps uh, based on the human input. right so if i now if i just visualize this graph you can see like we have a start node and then we have step 1 step 2 and step 3 right and in the step 3 we have this interrupt equals to before so before executing the step 3 it will stop the execution and then it will wait for the human interactions right so then what we are doing is we are creating a initial input and also we are creating this thread right so in this thread what we are creating is we are passing a thread id and that we are incorporating in this thread uh, dictionary right and while uh, invoking the graph or while streaming the graph what we will do is we will pass the initial input along with the thread and then we will see how the graph execution is working so you can see like uh, uh, as i have executed and uh, the streaming process of the graph so at first it's going to the first uh, function then it's going to the second function and then the graph execution is stopped right and now we can what we can do is we can grab the current state of the graph and then we can see what is the next step right so this is the way to grab the current state of the graph so you can do this graph dot get state and there you need to pass the thread right so the thread will uh, have the thread id number so for that particular thread id it will bring out the current state of that graph or a snapshot of the current graph execution process right so you can uh, call this dot next and you can see the next step is step 3 right so now what we can do is we can uh, we can pass this information while again re executing the graph right so here for an example like i have given a different thread id and i am passing the input as none 
right so then if i execute it then it will throw an error because this thread id there is no footprint or snapshot in the memory so that's why it's failing but if i use the previous thread id which is like thread id equals to one then i provide the input equals to none then it will resume the previous execution of the graph so it will start from the second function and then it will go to the third function and and it will uh, print the output from the third function right so i hope you uh, got a concept like if you want to resume the graph execution again then you need to mention what was the thread id for which you want to resume the execution and then uh, you don't need to pass an input message you can just pass none and then it will resume the execution from the previous step and it will continue the full execution right now if you capture uh, the current snapshot of the graph you can see if you just do this snapshot dot next you will get a empty parenthesis right which means that all the execution has been completed for this graph and now it does not have any subsequent steps to carry on right okay so now with this concept let's talk about uh, checkpoint and breakpoint with tool calling right so uh, there are uh, different memory components which you can use or different checkpoint uh, you can also create a checkpoint using this sqlite database so i tried with that but it's throwing an error for me but you can like do a customization on this uh, checkpoint creation step and you can like also incorporate a database uh, and then you can like call that database to store the snapshot and retrieve whenever it is required right so after that what i am doing is i am initializing the key for openai api key and the tavili api key then i am initializing the llm which is a gpt40 mini model and then i am creating the state and once the state is created i am creating the memory and then i am creating the graph and in that graph what we are doing is we are adding a tool which is nothing but a tavili search tool and and we are also binding the tool with the llm so now the llm knows that i have a tool at my disposal so whenever a tool call is required i can route the question to that particular tool to get the answer right so then you can like simply do a sanity check and do a dot invoke with some uh, dummy string and see if the invoke is happening correctly or not right so then we are creating a function which is the name of that function is agent so there we what we are doing is we are doing this llm with tools dot invoke and there we are passing the message right so this function will uh, like decide whatever the next step would be right whether it can answer that question or a message using a llm call or it needs to do a tool call to get the final answer then we are adding uh, agent as a node and also we are leveraging this tool node function which will create a node using this tool and then we are adding that tool node to this graph right and then what we are doing is we are creating a conditional edge so we are mentioning the starting point is agent and the, all the complex things which you have seen in my past few videos in my lang graph series where we need to like write a should continue function then add a conditional aging so that is not required if you use this tool which is like tools condition so based on that it will uh, check if there is a tool call present in the state message or not if it is there is a tool call then it will route the execution to the tool else it will end the execution right so then we are creating the ages and uh, we can create an app out of it so here also we are passing the memory and also we are mentioning that interrupt before tools right so uh, it might be the case that you are making an expensive tool call so you don't want to uh, like blindly make a tool call on based on each of the query so what you can do is you can interrupt before the tool call and then a human can come and like approve that execution and based on that the further steps will be carried out right so now you can visualize this graph so you can see like we have an agent then we have a tool where we have a interrupt equals to before methodology which where we are bringing the human in the loop and also we have a end node right so then what i am doing is i am creating a human message so i'm just passing a string hello i am aritra and i am from 
uh, Kolkata, right? So that I am passing as a string, which is nothing but an input message. Then I am creating the thread, which with a thread ID equals to one. And then uh, what I am doing is I am just uh, calling this app dot stream where I am passing my input message along with the thread. And then what we are doing is we are seeing how the output looks like, right? So you can see here it's a simple. Uh, string which does not require a tool call so the human message is this then it's going to the AI message and it's telling you hello Aditra how can I assist you today right and then it stopped the execution right now uh, what you can do is you can now bring the memory part right so you can uh, keep track of the previous conversation that went for the graph execution for the particular thread ID so what you need to do is you need to pass that particular thread ID while making a further call right so here I am asking like sorry where I where I am from right so it's it's a just a dummy question where I am asking that uh, uh, do you know where I am from right so because my last message where I mentioned that I am from Kolkata so I am just hoping with this uh, thread ID it would uh, bring in the memory part from the memory using the thread ID and then it would be able to answer this question right so you can see uh, this was the human message then it's uh, the AI message tells you like you are from Kolkata if you have any specific question or topic you would like to discuss about Kolkata or anything else feel free to let me know right so you can see like this in this way we can bring the memory to the agent where using a thread ID you can like uh, retrieve the previous conversation from the memory and then you can ask the future questions which will have a memory component to it Right. So then what we are doing is we are again creating an input message as a human message like then I am asking uh, what is the weather there right so here I am mentioning what is the weather there I haven't mentioned what is the weather in Kolkata right and then I am again using the thread ID equals to one so it, it is a continuation of the previous conversation and then you can see it's uh, making a tool call and as we uh, we have mentioned that before the tool call it will interrupt the graph execution so it uh, it, it stopped then what I am doing here is a, again I am doing this app dot stream and here I am mentioning the input as none and I am mentioning the thread which will continue the previous thread which is thread id equals to one and then it it will do the tool call and it will do a tabulate search and it will bring out the weather information for Kolkata right so you can see like here we are uh, combining the two things we are combining the memory and also we are combining the human in the loop where uh, before making a tool call we are interrupting the uh, interrupting the graph execution and then we are waiting for the further uh, instructions from the user right it will do a tool call and it will bring out the information right so then I am making another call like what are the best food to explore there right so again it will it knows that I am talking about Kolkata so it knows that uh, it will just do a LLM call to bring out the specific details for this particular question and you can see like here the question is uh, the answer is related to Kolkata's uh, food right the famous food of Kolkata then what I am doing here is uh, I'm asking a question now uh, this is uh, this is my way to like uh, give my support for the ongoing protest that is going on in Kolkata like that is related to unfortunate incident for a doctor getting raped and then getting killed uh, so this is my way to show the solidarity with the junior doctors who, whoever there is protesting and uh, this is the way wh where I am just creating a human message where I'm mentioning tell me about the recent pro protest happening there right so there means Kolkata so you can see like the human message is this then it's making a tool call and it's like rewriting the query like recent protest in Kolkata in September 2024 so for this what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you how you can like update the states using your own input right so here instead of making a tool call uh, I don't want to make the tool call I know the answer so I will manually write the answer and then I will pass that uh, information as a tool call information and then I will create the AI message right so you can see 
uh, here using this I am capturing the current snapshot and there I am uh, getting the current message uh, that is being present here so you can see the current message is recent protest in Kolkata September 2024 right so I'm also getting the tool call ID because we want to tag the further updates based on that particular tool call ID so we will not create a new set of tool call ID so we will use the previous tool call ID then we will just update the state for that particular tool call ID right so then I am writing my own message so this is again just to show my solidarity with the doctors and all the people in Kolkata who are protesting against this uh, brutal crime which happened in Kolkata in RG Kaur Hospital. So I'm, what I am writing here is this protest is about unfortunate incident with a lady doctor in RG Kaur Hospital in Kolkata. And then uh, what I have written is uh, as a protest against the administration uh, people are using a slogan which is we want justice right so that I am given as a message so using this message I want to update the state so you can see like I am incorporating this as uh, as the tool call answer and also the AI message answer right so then I am passing this to update the current state of the graph so what I am doing here is app dot update state then I am passing the thread and also the new message which I created here right so here it will have two things the tool message which is nothing but the answer which I have written manually and also the AI message right so then it's doing the state update and now if you access the last message so you can see the AI message which I have written is generated as an uh, response to this question right so in this way what I wanted to show was that you can access the graph state and then you can manually update the graph state using your own input right so this is all I wanted to cover in this video I hope you got a good understanding of what is uh, breakpoint then what is checkpoint and how you can bring the memory and also the human in the loop using lang graph for the agent creation steps right so with this i will end this video thank you see you in the next video